Hello, Faith and Hope. I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, welcome to our session this afternoon. I've got a few other people who might turn up as well, so it's just the first time we're doing this. So I'm trusting that you can hear me. Um, with these sessions, I'm going to keep it that you hear me, but I won't have audio or video on because we might have quite a few people. And uh, we're just going to do some different random subjects each time we do this. Um, so today we're going to have a go at doing a cute monster and also a bit more of a scarier one, maybe. Um, I'm presuming you might like to do a cute one. I'm not sure, but we'll do both anyway, and I'll just show you. We use mo mostly the same sort of drawing for both. And then on Thursday, which I think you're booked in for as well, um, we'll probably look at doing a, a couple of pet type characters. Again, maybe something similar, same sort of animals. And next week we'll have a look at a dragon or something like that. So... This is our first time, so thanks for joining me. And uh, I'm trusting you've met me somewhere, probably at a workshop. I've done a lot of workshops over the years. and uh, But at the end, I'll just show you some other things that are available for you before you leave. So we might jump in and start our drawing. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And what I'm going to share with you is a program called Photoshop, which is where I do all my drawing. And... Hopefully you can see that okay. Now this program is Photoshop. So it's like a graphic program we draw in and we can color in and all that sort of thing. So I might leave this open so you can see it. And I'll just switch my... Um, stop the video for a moment. Okay. So we're going to start off by... I'll just set the timer. Uh, well, firstly, the character I'm sort of basing this on is this sort of character. So it's a monster character I created a long time ago. And I'm going to show you the ideas of how I sort of created him, but we'll do some a few different little things. And I might do one version of this where it's quite cute. And then the second version, which we'll draw, I'll draw at the same time. So you're welcome to do a couple of pictures at once on your page. Um, I'll use some of these ideas and make it a little bit more of a scarier or goofier looking monster, but I'll show you the ideas behind it. So even if you only do one of the characters, um, hopefully you'll get some other ideas. Now, just to let you know, I am recording this because I'll probably post it elsewhere for, at uh, some other time so people can have a look at it. Okay, so the first thing if we have a look at this character is he's got a circle shape. Uh, I'll just draw on top, but you can sort of see there's a circle shape there and then there's this sort of space at the bottom. Um, so we can draw an oval shape or we can draw a circle shape and maybe add like a square shape at the bottom. So for the cute character, I might do like a more oval shape. And for the character that I'm going to draw next to it, which will be a little bit more scarier, I'll, um, I'll probably do the uh, circle and the square, I think, just to show and talk about that. So grabbing your pencils and as you can see, my page is landscape. So if you want to do two characters with me, you could do it on landscape. Otherwise, you're welcome to have two pieces of paper portrait and uh, you could do it, you know, one character per page. I'll just pull it up a bit. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to start off with the cute character. I'm going to do like a oval shape. So drawing with me. And I'm drawing on a tablet. I'm used to drawing more in pencil than on a tablet, so that's okay. And I'll do it once more. Drawing nice and lightly with your pencil so you can come along later and change things. Now I've done a long one there and I don't know for a cute character if that's going to look that good. So I might do it a bit more rounder. Because cute characters tend to be more rounder. Like that. It's okay and I'll just rub that bit out. Now for my other character, 
uh, the more scary or goofier one. I'm going to do a circle shape like this. And then depending how long I want the body to be, as you can see, it's got quite a long body there. So I might even redo that and make it, a, I might even make it more of a big oval shape like that. And then on the bottom of that, I'm going to come along and I'm going to add in a line down, a line across, and a line down. Now you might think, I'm not sure what he's going to do with this, but you'll understand what I mean when we get to the tentacles. So I'm going to do a line down. It doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle. And a line down. And then I'll just do a line across for the moment. That's going to disappear later. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly joined up to the circle. We're going to sort of rub some things out as we go. And I apologize for the planes flying over, if you can hear those. We have a flight path over the top. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add in is our eye or eyes. Now, you'll notice in this one, I've got eyes popping off the head. But with this particular characters, or these two, I might actually add the eye inside the head just to make it a bit simpler. So with a Q character, I'm not just going to do a little eye like this. I'll just demonstrate before you draw. Um, we need to do a nice big eye, but I'm not going to do a super big eye like this um, because it sort of takes over the whole body. So I want it big, but I'll probably aim to have it stopping about down there or maybe even a bit more down there. I might do the eye a bit lower in the body. So let's do a nice big eye like this. And for our angry character, or sort of a bit more, I will make him look a bit angry. So I'm going to do an eye like this. And I might draw it a bit to the side. So if you're drawing this one with me, draw it a bit to the side. And then we're going to come along and we'll add in an eyebrow. And we're going to do something with his mouth and everything. So we've got our eye. Now we need to add in a pupil and uh, maybe a little bit of shine in the pupil. So these ones have like little white spots in the pupils there. So for this one, I'm going to make it looking at me. So I'm going to draw it so there's a nice big circle shape as the outside of the pupil. I'm going to join it to the bottom of the eye like that. And then inside, I might just add another circle. Now, you could actually add a couple of highlights if you wanted to, where you've got one big circle and one underneath. And I might make this character looking at us. So I'm going to draw it to the side a bit. And I'll just add one in there. Now, very lightly with your pencil, we can just fill those eyes in, which would work all right. Um, but otherwise, the other way you could do it later on, if you want to outline these characters, um, with pens. You could do all of that and then you could come along and add some colour where I'm dropping in the black there. So that would make a bit more cartoony and you get a bit of colour in the eye, which is always interesting. With these ones, because I'm doing them in black and white, I'm just going to black in those pupils. Okay, so the other thing we need to do with our eyes is we need to add in a little bit of detail here. So for the cute character, I'm going to add in some eyelashes. Now, there's a few ways you could do these. You can do them like I just did then, but you could actually make them get smaller like that. We could do them both sides if you wanted. Uh, the other way you could do them, which is a bit fancier, takes a little bit more time, is we could do them, draw them, draw the actual shapes like that. And then you could come along and add colour into those, or if I make them black, they look a bit cuter. But I quite like the line ones, so I might actually just do the line ones, I think. So I'm going to do, I might do them from the middle. And then we'll just add an eyebrow. Now for the eyebrow, you could do a line, or if you wanted to, you could do a curved line and then add another line on top following along. And that also can have color in it 
or I might make it black for this case, but you're welcome to leave it and ink it in later. And uh, I'll talk about what I mean by inking in later. So there's that eye done. You're welcome to add more detail in if you want to. You'll notice as I go along that I sort of edit things up a bit. Um, because I'm sort of making this up now, like I, I am sort of making it up out of my head. You're welcome to add your own things in as well. Okay, now our angry character. He doesn't look too angry at the moment. So I could do a line like this. And I could rub out that top part of the eye and it will look like um, he's frowning. Uh, the other way you could do it is like a tick where you draw it down and then across like that, which also can work pretty well. That could work all right. Um, because he's looking and he's only got one eye, I might just do this one that we just did before. And you'll notice that I'm making a bit longer this side because I want to imagine he's sort of looking to the side. He's, he's sort of leaning, um, got his face turned that way. And then I'm just going to rub out. He's just looking annoyed there. Now, something else we could add into that eye is some detail underneath the eye. So you can draw these sort of shapes, just a couple of them. That can sort of make him look more annoyed. We're not going to add it to our cute character because we don't want our cute character looking tired or frustrated or anything like that. And sometimes I like to thicken lines up as I go along. It's all right. Okay, now one other thing we can add to our cute character's eye is just a line underneath for the bottom of the eye like it's a little bit of the lid. Now that looks a bit strange at the moment because it looks like it could be a mouth, doesn't it? Which could work all right. That could look quite cute. Um, but we'll come back and add in a mouth in a minute. So I'm just going to do a small line there. We'll see how that looks. Sometimes you do things and then you come back later and think, oh no, I don't really want to keep that in. Okay, so we need to add in our mouth details. So we'll come back to our cute one in a second. But for our more angry looking character, I'm just going to rub out now inside here. So if you're doing this character now, if you started with the cute one and you think I'd like to do the angry one, um, because I'm going to move back and forth between these, then feel free to grab another bit of paper, do your circle, just do a square underneath. You can even rub out the bottom of the circle and then add your eye in. And what we've done here is we've sort of set up the body now with more shapes. So it's not strictly looking like an oval anymore. It's not really a shape we sort of recognize. But this bottom part, um, just in here, is going to become part of the body and also the mouth. So let's add our cute character's mouth in. Now, our cute character's mouth, if I do it down here, so I'll just demonstrate if I do it down here, it's going to lose its cuteness because we've got a lot of space in here. It could have a nose or something. It just doesn't quite work that well. And uh, just for the sake of showing you, I might just rub that out to save confusion for the moment. I'll come and add that in at the end. Uh, we could do the mouth up here. But it's going to look like our cute character's got a very big jaw. And uh, that doesn't tend to look very cute either. So I'm going to do the mouth maybe around the middle. And you could do a cute little mouth like this. That would look quite cute. So that would work. Um, a cute one, a, a little mouth like that will definitely add to the cuteness. But to me, it's a little bit too small. Um, but if you want to do that, that's fine. You're welcome to do that. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And I might start around here and draw it like that. And then on the end of each mouth, uh, end of each end of the mouth, I'm going to add a cheek like this. Now that will tend to look a lot cuter than these sort of cheeks, which we call dimples, which are more cartoony. 
that would work all right. But it, you're, if you're looking at this character now, you're probably thinking it doesn't look as cute as those little cheeks. Now we can add some other things in. We could add some teeth in. Uh, so often you'll see cute characters with little buck teeth like that. Uh, sometimes people add in teeth like this, which makes him or her look a little bit it sort of looks cute, but a bit weird. <laughs> so you could do that if you wanted to. Um, but I might just add in some buck teeth, but you don't have to add in any teeth if you don't want to. The other thing I might just put under the mouth is a little line like that. So if those teeth weren't there, you could actually put it up here like this. And actually I might do that. And I might just add a few teeth in like that. So I'll leave it up to you. I don't really expect you to copy exactly what I do. You're welcome to make up and add your own in as we go along. And then under here, I'm just going to add another that line back in. So now it looks a bit more detailed, a bit more sense. So let's do our more scary character or our angry character or annoyed one. Uh, firstly, for the mouth, I'm going to actually have the mouth. If we have a look at this character here, uh, you'll notice that the mouth is coming outside of our shape, unlike the other character where it's drawn inside the shape. So. We need to work out how big we want the mouth to be and where we want it to be. So to start off with, I would probably, if we have a look at this guy, the mouth is sort of starting about halfway up the body there between sort of round here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my mouth in first going into the body. So I'll just demonstrate and I might, I don't know if I want it to go that fast. So I might start about here. So I'm going to do a line and then bring it up. And you could add your cheek there if you wanted to. And that's showing me where the mouth is going to go. Uh, I could do it a bit lower. And I could add dimples. So either way, it doesn't matter. And we're drawing the line outside the body. Where I'm starting it is where I'm imagining I want the mouth to start. If I want his mouth to be bigger, then I'd start out here. And I'm just making the mouth up. So you make your mouth up. Like that, and then we can add a couple of dimple lines. And you'll notice that I think I had dimples here. So you can see how they look quite different to that sort of more little curved cheek. So with this case, I'm going to shorten this a little bit because to my mind, it's just a little bit far out. And then I'm just going to round it. Now you can bring it down and join it to the body like that. But for me, I'm going to round it like this because I'm going to start the tentacles underneath it. So that could work like that. So it's sort of up to you. You could do it down here like this. That could work quite well. And in fact, now I've drawn both. I think I might do it like that. This is probably the easier way for you to do it if you're drawing with me. So just to re recap what we did, we started this part of the mouth outside the body shape and we determined how big the mouth was going to be by where we started it. So if I'd started it out here, instead of drawing, you'd have a very big mouth. We drew that in and added our dimples, and then we just drew the, drew the bottom of the mouth to join into the body. Now, of course, there's a line there, so we need to grab our eraser. And this is why I recommend in all my workshops and lessons that we just draw nice and lightly. Now, sometimes in art classes and things, they don't like you to rub out things, but I don't mind doing that at all. I think if you feel you want to change something and you've got a better idea or something you want to try, if you draw lightly, it's always easy to rub out. It's not going to leave marks. Okay, now one other thing I'm going to add into this mouth to make it a little bit more scary is I added some spiky teeth to this guy, but they're not that sharp. So if I added, if you're doing a scary character and you add really sharp fangs, it's going to look very scary. Anything sharp will not look cute. Um, but in this case, I might just add some of those more rounded teeth. Like that. There we go. Okay, so we've done our face basically, and we're ready just to add in our legs. But in this case, we're not going to add legs in. If you want to add legs in, you're welcome to. I'm going to add these things that we call tentacles. So these are things you might see a squid or an octopus have. 
um, or jellyfish, even though they tend to have more um, very thin tentacles, I think. Um, they're almost like the body of a slug or a worm. So with our Q character, I'm not going to do massive tentacles like this. That's, that's sort of a little cute, but not really. I mean, it's going to take away from the cuteness of, of what we're seeing with the face. So with this character, I'm going to do cute little tentacles. And then I'm going to do much the similar thing with the um, more scary one. But we will try some different sorts of tentacles. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle here. And I'm going to draw a tentacle. And I'll just make it so we can see this character better. Like that. And I'm going to start around here. You can even put a little line if you want to. And then I'm going to draw just a curve line like this. I'm going to round it. And then I'm going to bring it back like this. Now you'll notice as I'm drawing it back, and you can draw it into the body for the moment, you'll notice that this bit is, is a bit wider than the tip. So when you're doing tentacles, it's always good to think about the ending bit and then sort of making it look thick as it comes back. It makes it look more realistic. If I drew it like this, we've got a thick tip and then it gets very thin. It's not going to look like a normal tentacle that we would imagine because normally um, tentacles or arms and legs or whatever you're drawing tend to get a bit thicker as it joins the body. It's just part of how we're designed. So let's do our other tentacle. And I'm going to make them look fairly similar, similar, but you don't have to copy them exactly. Just use your imagination. Now that one's a bit too thick, so I'm going to draw it again. And you'll often see if you do live workshops with me too, sometimes I redraw things a bit. Now a little tip, when you're drawing this one, as you're looking at this one, this one here we just drew, Keep your eye, keeping your eye also sort of half be seeing this. So you're focused on drawing this, but you're seeing this other one as well. And it will help your eye to sort of match them both up to size. So they're fairly close and that's good enough. And then I'm going to draw another one here. This one's more behind. Like that. Now that's again a little too thick, so I'll draw that again. I'm not going to worry about making it too long. And that's a bit high. So what I want to do is I want this other one to come in behind it. Like that. And then we'll do the same over here. Now you could even start here if you wanted to. Like that. Now with that other front one, you could have both. Um, draw on where their lines are coming into the body. But with the back ones, they're going to be sort of these ones, they're going to be sort of behind. So we might leave that for a second and we'll go and do our more scarier ones. Now, I would recommend if you're just doing this cute one while I'm doing this one, maybe create your own body and your own quick face or something and have a go at doing these tentacles with me. So these ones, because he's sort of looking this way, I'm not going to have them starting in the middle. I'm going to start one and draw it down. And this time I'm going to give him sort of sharp tentacles like that. So I've drawn it from in there. So I'll do that again for you. Oops. I'm going to draw it down here. And then I'm going to start it in like this. Bring it to a point. Now we might do the same with this one. And you'll notice that it's very sort of skinny and sharp at the end. And we're following the other line, trying to match it, and then we bring it in like this. And then I'm going to draw another one. You can draw as many tentacles as you want. And I might start it on the bottom. So where the bottom of this shape is, you can sort of make it up as you go. Often you get your own ideas and you're welcome to try them out. 
and we're going to rub out a lot of stuff in a second. Then I'm going to add another one over this, this area just to make it look like it's coming from behind. So it looks there's a little bit of 3D in what we're drawing here. So I might draw it from up here just so I can get the feel. Stop it. In some ways, these ones are a bit easier because the sharp point's a bit easier to get because you can stop. And then we're just going to rub out some things now. So let's rub out. I'm going to rub out the bottom of that chin or the bottom of that part of the body. So I'll do that again for you. I'm not rubbing it out up to here because that'll look like it's sort of joined onto the leg there and it just looks a bit flat. It doesn't look like a 3D sort of character. So by leaving a little bit of that line there, that works quite well. It sort of breaks the shape a little bit. And then I'm going to rub out this one completely. And then with this back tentacle, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to rub out. And I'm just going to rub out so it looks like it's joining up to that. Now, you could even add another one in the back if you wanted, just to. So I might add one like this. So you can, as I say, you can sort of make up your own. You don't have to really copy exactly what I do. Like that. And then, of course, I might even add another one here like this. So we're doing this fairly quickly, um, but you might take more time if you're doing it at home. So let's grab our rubber for the cute character and I'm going to rub out up to where this line is. And we'll just rub out right down to the bottom there. Same here. Now at the moment they do look like they could be octopus. So that could work. Now these back ones here, uh, these ones, we could leave them so this sort of body is sort of cutting them off and that will and then if you added a darker color so you do this character pink or red or yellow then you might add a darker color of yellow or red there to make a look behind the other thing you could do is you could just rub out a little bit of that line going from the top down and just leave a little bit of the line in and it will make it look a bit more connected up so i'll leave that up to you um, i don't mind it with the line in, so i might leave it like that for the moment Okay, so let's have a look at this other character quickly and see some ideas. So we've got some details on the body, like some um, spots, and we could also add some details into the tentacles themselves. You're welcome to add in whatever you like. And then on the top, because we're doing monsters, um, we could add some, we could add a cute little antenna if you wanted, like that would work. And you'll notice I've drawn those lines inside, so it just looks like it's on top. Or we could add a couple of tentacles. I might just add a couple of small little tentacles here where I do some lines, and then I'm going to rub out in a sec where they join up, but I'm just going to add a circle on the end. Um, you could add any sort of shape on the end if you wanted. You could add a love heart shape if you wanted to, whatever you feel would work and you'd like to try. I mean, these are your characters, so I hope you... Um, you know, adding your own things. With our more scary character, I might add a horn, some horns in, so I could do a curved line inside the body like that. And then just like we did with the tentacles, we're going to add a sharp point. So again, by adding sharp points, it sort of stops our characters looking anything like cute. And then I might even do one in the middle here. So he's actually got three horns like that. And we'll just rub that out. And there we go. Now I'm going to rub out where those tentacles join. Joined up. And I mentioned on the tentacles, oh, sorry, I rub out where the antennas join, sorry. Uh, we could also, with those ones with the little circles, you could also just rub out a little bit of the body if you wanted to make them look like they're sort of joined up to the tentacles. So you're just rubbing out a little bit of the bottom bit. But again, you're using those little bit of lines still coming out like we've done with other things like the tentacles here and the, the chin. Okay, so we've got a couple of minutes left here. So let's add in some details. So you could add suction caps in like this where you just do some circle shapes. Space them fairly evenly. They don't have to be exactly the same size, but it's good to do them. Don't do one big like this and then one small. Um, they'll look like spots. 
So we'll come along and add some spots in in a second. Like that. Another one in. And we'll add some more in here. Now with the sort of other tentacles over here, you could take those shapes and actually draw them underneath like this and just do them small. And that could work quite well. Uh, it just looks like the suction caps on the bottom. So we'll go through and add those in. Now, once you've done these drawings, um, if you've got felt tip pens, so sometimes you can, you've got those calligraphy pens or Sharpies can work, even though they can, um, sometimes Sharpies aren't so good because they sort of smudge on the page. But if you've got some decent felt tip pens, you can just go over all your line work. As you can see, mine's all black and white. And if you do that with your pencil drawings and then rubbed out the pencil and added some colour, that would look really cartoony. And uh, you've got my email there, so maybe your mum and dad could send the final pictures to me. I'd love to see what you end up with at the end. So there's a whole lot of things we've added in, but we haven't added anything to the bodies. And at the moment, they look a bit, a little bit boring or a little bit bare. So... In our last minute or so, uh, let's add in some spots. And you'll notice I'm drawing them from the side. And then I might add some small ones here. Uh, so I could add a small spot here. I wouldn't necessarily draw them right here because it will look like it's cheek. So I'd have to do one over here. That could work, but that's not quite what I'm going for. So I might add a small one here and then a bigger one here. And what I'm doing is I'm imagining this part's actually wrapping around the body. So you're only seeing a bit of it. So that's a really good way to get a little bit of 3D into your character. Now, if I was drawing one here, I won't do the end of it so it joins the leg because it looks a bit weird. You'll see how both these lines are matching up. So they look like they're, you know, I'd be better to do it like this where they're not matching up and it just makes it look a bit more 3D and more interesting. So you can go along and add those in. Now, I probably wouldn't add them onto my um, tentacles until I've worked out what colours I'm going to use because otherwise these, these um, little suction caps could look like spots as well. So, you know, if you're going to add spots in, you're going to end up doing them like this. And it's good to make sure you've worked out what colours and things so you can sort of make them stand out. And with this character here, I might just add some stripes. I'm just going to do some spiky. Again, I'm using spikes. So, and I might add a colour to these later. And our time's pretty much up, but it will just go along and you can add them onto your tentacles. Now, a good trick with these is to make sure they curve so they fit the shape of the tentacle. So it's wrapping around. So you could do them like this. That looks okay. But I might even draw them so they're sort of following the curve of where I imagine sort of the shape of the tentacles going. And we'll add those in. And then we're pretty much done. I've got one last thing I'll show you before we finish up today. And uh, it's just introducing you to this cartoon school I've got online where you can sign up for free. Uh, there's heaps of free lessons in there much like we've just done today, but lots of different characters. And I'll show, show you what's in there. Um, so one last thing we could do with this character too, if you wanted to, you could just add some texture detail, which is some lines. You could add some lines into the horns like this. Of course, if I've done them at the back there, I'm not going to do them at the front here. That will look confusing. So whenever you do them, you're sort of adding them to the same spot. And you'll notice even just the, that little bit makes a difference. And there's our two... Uh, monsters. They could be aliens, weird octopuses. So I hope you enjoy that. I'm just going to stop sharing now. And while you're still on, just before we finish up, I'm going to just share with you this screen here. So if you are interested or your mum and dad are, you're welcome to go and sign into this school. It's in the email that I sent out that you joined up for this lesson. And you just need to sign up. It's a free sign up, probably best to get your mum or dad. And then I'll get a notification that you've signed up and um, I'll contact you to see if there's some lessons you'd like. So, but once you've signed in, you can click into any of these free lessons and there's lots of different ones. 
So a lot of these are sort of single video ones I did for YouTube. And then these ones down here, like the alien, this dog, these sort of characters, um, they're all step-by-step -step videos. There's a lot of them here. There's even an octopus one. And then as you can see, there's a lot of Christmassy ones too. Now they've got a charge on them, but when you sign, when you sign up for free and I get an email, I'll contact you and um, just let your mum get you to pick one or two. So you can pick one each if you like, or two each if you like, and I'll just give them to you for free. So what happens is up the top here, you've got my products, uh, which show you the courses that you've signed in. So these are all the ones I've signed in, of course. Um, oops, sorry, sign me out. Uh, it'll show you up in the my courses, what courses you've signed in, or you all like this where there's all courses. Uh, so I'd encourage you to check in and try those out. There's a character even a bit similar to one of the ones we did today. And there's a lot more explanation in these. The free ones are really good. They're just one video generally to go through. And then I've made a couple of these more complicated ones free as well. So that concludes our lesson. I hope you had fun. Uh, this is my website as well. So if you want to check out for online lessons or booking um, live lessons as well, you can go in here and there's a whole lot of categories here. You can check one-on-one -on -one lessons is a new one I'm doing uh, for people who are local. Okay, so that's a little bit about what else is available. I hope you've enjoyed these lessons. And uh, so I know, I think you're booked in for um, Thursday. So as I say, this is early days yet. So you, you two, I think, are the only two that are booked in. I might have one other one for Thursday. So I think we'll have a look at doing two different um, pet characters. Um, and um, again, we'll look at some different things we can do with them. So have fun. Uh, if you would like to email me your pictures, I'd love to see how you went. And uh, have a great rest of the day. Hope you have a great holiday. And I'll catch you on Thursday. Thanks a lot and take care. Bye-bye.